Hello guys, welcome back to the sixth video. In this video, I'm going to show you um, how I created this entire object using just one tool. And you hear that correct, just one tool. That's called the shape generator. This is one of the amazing tools for beginners, a shape generator. So before that, I'm going to hide all objects to hide that away. And I'm going to show you the idea what this is doing. And then I'm going actually to speed up because I'm going to make 13 segments um, so not to bore you as I'm typing it in I'll show you and speed it up but I first want to explain you the idea what this is this is very similar to the other shapes you have seen a sphere which I've shown before it has a radius uh, you have a fill you can fill uh, top and bottom open it up uh, one side and the others and you have a 360 angle and then you can basically once you open it up you have an option to fill over here and uh, so on you have the number of edges to make it circular or, or less. You can make it like this. And let me just reset all of these. So, yes, I'm resetting it. Okay. And then you can go to um, the height, which is simple. Position offset. If you hover on this, look over here at the top where we always have the messages. If you hover on it, it tells you offset cannot be used in the first segment. So once you have segments, you can use an offset. I'll show you soon. And then you have the bevel. Uh, bevel shows you like zero. You can make it negative or positive. So if we go, for example, positive, negative or positive, but once you add the bevel, you can then further adjust that. It opens up the level, which kind of adds a smoothness to it. And then you have even a weight to it, which kind of like, you can see, just self-explanatory. You can just test this tool and see how it can get very interesting. But then you have the other thing is, <clears throat> once you can add segments, as you add a segment, uh, the second segment will automatically copy from the first one. So you need to adjust everything. So let's say this, I'm going to make it more circular and the height, whatever height I'm going to give it, let's say, to make it less or let's just make it something normal type in 20 and then the position offset this is where it becomes very interesting where once you open this up you see the first segment is not available but from the second and on forward this is available and this gives you same thing once you open it up similar to bevel it gives you a smoothness which you can kind of make it like this and this is something i really like because you can make let's see for example let me show you to open this up you can make a smooth this by itself creates wonderful shapes this is kind of like if you know the, the terminology from math interpolation it kind of the same idea with bevel you, you give it just one segment and the bottom one segment and top and then the bevel gives it a center point or you can change the weight of the bevel where it would be but then you interpolate adding a lot more segments it's kind of like the same way of you doing all segments yourself it just interpolates it the same ideas over here the interpolation between the offset smoothness it, it kind of creates a transitional offset um, but you know you can offset this basically the height of the offset but then you can add a smoothness to it which you can make it more smooth or less smooth and this a lot of times can create wonderful beautiful shapes by itself but it's the same idea you control the, the interpolation between them but now as you can see we can start doing more once you have segments you can anytime go back you see you can see which one is selected if I go back let's say to segment one it highlights segment one and this is uh, you know un 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 uh, deselected and this is already selected see so if you go next i can toggle from it next one and i can keep on adding segments and the same idea i can then go back to uh, the first segment and you see what i selected as the first segment and so on keep on playing so that's it that's kind of the basics so i want to show you how you created this shape using this so for now i'm going to just speed this up and show you um how it's done and uh, hope you enjoy it and i'll see you in the next video, I'm going to start with the drawing. I talked about it a lot. I'm actually really excited about drawing. So next video, um, have everything set up. So wait for it. So finalize to see this. And if you want to know the exact details I'm going to put in now on the 13 segments, you can message me and I'll give you uh, a snapshot of it. You can see, by the way, I put over here somewhere a snapshot from one of the segments. I'll discuss this in the next video also, how we put in images to the scene. Um, so see you next time, next video. Take care.